Hello once again, everybody. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Doug Fisher. And Doug, I'm looking forward to this one. We mentioned at the very outset of the top of the show that this would be a tough, tough rematch for both fighters. Both guys have come here to win in kind of a neutral site in spite of the fact that Shumanov claims Las Vegas is home now. <laughs> Yeah, you know, these guys match up in a way. Every time they get in the ring, it's going to be highly competitive. Campillo is the boxer. Shumanoff is the puncher. Shumanoff starts fast. Campillo finishes strong. Uh, but it's a, 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 it, there's high, high stakes in this fight that goes beyond the fact that, that two world titles are on the line. This is essentially the American debut for both fighters. Shumanoff has fought in America a few times, but never in front of a wide television audience. So both guys are looking forward to making a statement because when people talk about the light heavyweight division and they mention guys like Bernard Hopkins and Chad Dawson, they want their names to be mentioned. And, you know, the winner of this fight, particularly if he wins impressively, he's going to be on the radar of American fight fans. Shumanoff, Campillo, it's not hard to pronounce. So if these guys fight well tonight, they're going to be on the board. They're going to be factors in the division. All right, we're going to show you how these guys measure up by showing you the tail of the tape. And as you take a look at the tail of the tape, it'll tell us a few things. These guys match up uh, almost perfectly. They have equal height. They have equal reach with a 74-inch wingspan. Campillo's a little bit older at, at 31, but he's still in his athletic prime. It's the unified rules of boxing that govern this contest, 10-point uh, must system. There's no three knockdown rule. There's no standing eight count. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And in the event an accidental foul halts the proceedings, we will go to the scorecards after four completed rounds. All right, so the stage is set. And Babu Chumanoff will be making his way in very, very shortly. That's Kevin Barry. Kevin Barry has quite a history himself working with the uh, David Tua yeah. through uh, most of David's career to get him to the title shot. And with Shumanoff, it's a kind of a comeback of sorts for Kevin Barry, who has worked on the power, the upper body movement, giving uh, Shumanoff the idea that he needs better balance, that he needs more firepower and accuracy. And he's had 175 rounds of serious, serious training for this fight. So the lawyer from Kazakhstan, who along with his brother Chingis, uh, the co-promoters of this fight, is ready. This guy is one dedicated fighter. It's an obsession with him to box. His family is in the gas and oil business in Kazakhstan, and he's a, as I mentioned, a trained lawyer and a practicing lawyer in Kazakhstan. He's put his legal career online for the time being, on hold, I should say, for the time being. And he wants to fight and believes with all his heart that he can lift the WBA Championship of the World from Campillo. And he has worked extremely hard. When I saw him in his last fight, uh, I thought that he needed some work. And he's got that work. I saw him in training shortly after Christmas. And it's been several weeks since then. So this guy is ready to fight. Now, on the other hand, Gabriel Campillo is going to be making his way in very, very shortly. The marriage of, of certainly Kevin Barry and Chumanoff is one story, but Campillo says Kevin Barry can't fight for him. That's very true, and Campillo is a very confident fighter. He won their first match. He was the stronger fighter at, at the end of that 12-round contest. He believes he can do it again. He is the better boxer. He ha is the better technician. He's often the, the more consistent fighter, the, the busier fighter during the three minutes of the round. And what I like about this guy is that uh, as well as having a, a busy jab, he puts his punches together very well. He's a very good combination puncher. And as the bout wears on, he ups the, the, the volume of his punches. So he makes for good fights, even though he's not a tremendous puncher, Colonel. That was Samson Lukowitz uh, standing right there off the screen just a bit. That's Samson there, who was his promoter and handler and a co-promoter in this fight. All right, we'll be back with the start of this fight momentarily for you. Stick right with us. You're watching Fox Sports Nick. Shumanoff and Campillo coming right up. Johnny Vina. Ladies and gentlemen, from the joint here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, it's now time for your main event, Campillo Shumanov 2. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA 
and IBA Light Heavyweight Championships. This championship unification bout is proudly presented to you by KZ Event Productions and Oscar De La Hoya Promotions, Golden Boy Promotions, in association with Samson Boxing, and is sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza Con Character, and Vanity Nightclub, It's All About You. Representing the World Boxing Association, Supervisor George Martinez. And for the International Boxing Association, Supervisor and Cy Young winner, Dean Chance. Your three judges scoring from ringside on a 10-point must system are Patricia Morse Jarman, Jerry Roth, and Levi Martinez. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Jay Nady. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with gold, and weighing in a trim and ready, 174 and a half pounds. He has a record of eight victories, only one defeat, with six big wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from Chimkent, Kazakhstan, and now making his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing the IBA light heavyweight champion, Beboot Shu. corner to my left, wearing the red and white trunks and weighing in the light heavyweight limit of 175 pounds. His record, 19 victories, only two defeats with five big wins coming by way of knockout. From Madrid, Spain, introducing the defending WBA light heavyweight champion, Gabriel Chico Huapo. Referee Jay Nady with final ring instructions. Any questions? Good luck, Touch Cliff. Let's go to work. Jay Nady, very brief. Remember, 10 point must scoring system, no standing aid count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight, and in case of an accidental foul, the scorecards after the fourth round is complete. In the black trunks with a gold trim, the IBA champion, Bebut Shumanov from Kazakhstan, the reigning WBA champion, in the red and white trunks, Gabriel Campillo of Spain. Now you notice that right away that Campillo is a southpaw jabbing with that right hand. They want to see if the instructions of Kevin Barry and the powerful training that he's done will have an influence on the power of Shumanov during the course of this fight. Campillo, Doug, is basically a boxer and a good one. Yeah, he's a pure boxer. He's a guy who likes to work everything off the jab. He likes to stick and move. And he's going to let Shumanov come forward in, in the first four or five rounds of this bout. He's the kind of guy who gauges his opponent's stamina. And uh, when he feels his opponent begins to tire out a little bit, if it takes him to the the, the sixth or seventh round, and that's when he begins to step forward. But he's, he's content to, to box and stick and move and circle the ring in the first half of the fight. A pretty good left hook that time thrown by Shumanov. Shumanov has tendencies to revert back to the, you know, what I call kind of the Eastern European, in, in spite of the fact he's from Central Asia, style with the hands held high. But that's okay. He catches punches like that. You see, just like this, what he's doing now. But he's, he's bending at the knees more which means he's sitting down on his punches more show. He should get more power than what he had in the first fight. And so far, that's it's showing here, but of course, it's very, very early. This is just round number one. Yeah. WBA champ is in the red trunks. The first fight, his, his hands were often by his waist, and uh, he was throwing a lot of arm punches. The technique is, is vastly improved. Oh, well, that's what I noticed when I went to see him. Uh, I actually spent the day at Kevin Barry's house on Christmas, and Kevin said, you got to come and see this fight. He's not the fighter that you saw uh, when he fought in Kazakhstan, and, and right now he isn't because you're right. Shumanov used to have the hands down, but oh, big left hand spun the head that time of Campillo. Campillo's going to uh, tune it up just a notch, I think, a little bit here, but th this is his style, too. This guy's a pure boxer. He's a relaxed boxer. And maybe he's a little bit too relaxed in this first round, but uh, that's just his temperament as a fighter. He, uh, he, he's laid back. He doesn't let anything rattle him. And he just looks for his spots to land his punches. But uh, right now, I think Shumanoff is, is putting him on the defensive uh, with, uh, with the display of power punching and, and nice, nice technique to those punches. Now, the things he's been working on in the gym, a little bit more foot movement. Uh, a little bit 
busier. He'd like to be with the upper body, but look at the power shots of Shumanov. I mean, he's really getting power into his punches, and he's keeping those hands up, which I like. It'll be interesting to see as the fight wears down if fatigue, you know, reverts him back into his old style, but he's had so many rounds of training in the gym, 175 rounds of sparring, that we'll just see if he can hold up. Inside of 10 seconds to go now in the first round, I think a very good round for Shumanov. In a battle of two champions, the WBA champ in red is uh, Gabriel Campillo of Spain. The IBA champ in black is Bebut Shumanov of Kazakhstan. I thought that uh, Shumanov did more in the first round. He goes head hunting here in the second round. I gave him the first round. Oh, absolutely. He landed all the hard punches. Good round, good, good round for Shumanov, but you know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, he's not used to keeping his hands up. I'm wondering if after a couple of rounds, just holding his hands up, if, that, if that's going to stress him out a little bit or, 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 or tire him out prematurely. And I'm also wondering if he's, he's throwing too hard early in this fight. He's really putting a lot into every punch. It, uh, that's, that's true. He is doing all of that. He also has a pretty good mouse going underneath the left eye. And he's throwing very, very hard shots. And, you know, that's that's what I saw in the training. It's different when you're in sparring sessions because, you know, they'll spar three rounds or six rounds. And what I saw, he was throwing punches like this all the time. Whether you can sustain it is what this fight's all about. You know, I'm seeing the slight swelling under Shumanov's left eye, and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering when Campillo landed the, the punch, but maybe it's just a, it's just that, that right jab of his, just a consistent tapping right jab doing it. Well, he, he is getting the right jab through, and he is tapping in, and it's swelling up. And just the facial structure of Shumanov, his eyes are shaped in that, that it wouldn't take much of a welt underneath that eye to close that left eye, and that could be a major problem. Yeah, Shumanov has very high, prominent cheekbones. Now Campillo has settled down in this round. He looks much more confident than he did. Shumanov still loading up shots, and so far no real damage done. And his Campillo battling back pretty good right now. And doubling Camp with the jab. Campillo's looking pretty good. He's, he's, starting, he's not just jabbing, he's starting to put those punches together to the body and the head. As we said, this guy's an excellent fighter. Remember, he won. Though controversial it was, he won the first fight. But by the end of the fight, he dominated, and he's having a very good second round here against Beibut Shumanov. This is a very good round for the WBA champ. Campillo must sense something because he's really stepping forward and letting those hands go, including that straight left. Uh, and, unless he just felt the whole first round, he was feeling this guy out. Whatever he felt out, He's landing shots right now. And he doesn't seem very uh, concerned about what Shumanov has in his uh, hands. He doesn't seem uh, very worried about Shumanov's vaunted punching power. Shumanov, you can see him buttoning down in that mouth guard like he wants to take this guy's head off. Really throwing hard shots, really hard shots. And they're not really taking a big effect on Caprio. This is a tough, hard fight. We'll be... Ending round two right now. Second round was a very good one for Campillo. Here he is landing a straight left set up by that busy southpaw jab. Back to live action now in round number three. First round on our score sheet. Shumanov second round for Campillo. Campillo blasts to the body with the right hand. Or rather, Shumanov blasts to Campillo's body with the right hand. Boy, he's throwing shots hard. Kevin Berry told him to pick up the pace as opposed to, and he also told him to move that upper body more, move the head a little bit more. Should not, not really doing that, but this guy has got some sort of grit. A little off balance that time. I'll tell you one thing, Campillo is one cool customer. Nothing seems to rattle this guy. And these, this is some serious heat Shumanov is throwing his way. Shumanov backs off and waits. You want to get outside the kill zone if you're going to back off and then get yourself set up because Campillo knows how to close the distance. Their reach is exactly the same at 74. Their weight only a half pound difference and they're tall for light heavyweights at 6'2". But they're just about the same size. Campillo's 31 and Shumanov is 26. Now it looks like Shumanov is, is, is trying to back away and, 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 and trying to get Campillo to walk into some of his punches. 
It's a good idea, except for Campillo does such a great job at catching punches. He, he holds his hands high, close to his cheek, and he's hard to hit. It's hard to get between them. And look at Shumanov loading up shots to the body, but he can't shift this guy. Hey, Campillo is in some kind of shape. There's one taken on the chin, and it doesn't shift him again. That's frustrating. Jay Nady says, keep the punches up. It's a tough, hard run. Look at this. This is a good fight. Is what wow, this wow. Is. Look at Campillo come back. Shumanov plants and battles. This is what fans want. This is an ebb and flow here, and, and it, much of it is, is due to the contrasting styles. We have the southpaw boxer and, and the right-handed puncher, who, who is by no means orthodox. No, not at all. Nice slick move that time, stepping to his left and underneath. Good hard right hand again to the body of Campillo, but nothing seems to shift this guy. Tries to spin him again, try to get him off balance and land the big right hand. Campillo will bounce to his right and then back to his left. Let's the jab go. Throws the left hand behind it and can't catch Shumanov. That one up on the forehead. Shumanov backing off now. He's got a plant and let his right hand go and he does. But look at Campillo. Campillo's standing right in front of him. He's taking the shots or blocking the shots and he always answers back. That, you know, in, in our first fight, we saw a guy in Eris Landy Lara, when somebody got close, he just covered up and didn't punch. Campillo, much more uh, experienced fighter, he can defend and he can punch back at the same time. And loads up the right hand, but again, taken on the back of the gloves. This is a very difficult round to score now. At the outset, I'll tell you this, Campillo has had uh, very close majority decisions in a lot of fights. Uh, in fact, the, the, his last fight was a majority decision over Shumanov, but he's had several uh, situations where he's had a lot of close rounds in his fights. Yeah, I think that has something to do with his, his punching power. If he had a little bit more steam on his punches, I think rounds that were close would go his way. Um, I scored that last round for Shumanov simply because he landed the harder punches, but it was really an even round, Colonel. Well, uh, I know the judges won't score it even. I'm going to put it down even on my score sheet because I couldn't make up my mind, and you've given that one to Shumanov. But it'll be like that. Usually when I score an even round, it, more than if I were judging the fight, I wouldn't score an even round. But I think that judges will go one way and somebody the other, uh, another judge the other here's way. some of that action. This is when uh, Campillo went on the offense and did very well landing uh, jabs and, and straight lefts. Backing Shumanov to the ropes, and he keeps those hands going. Two-fisted action. So far, everything we expected in a main event fight. Bebut Shumanov from Kazakhstan, the reigning IBA champion, only in his 10th professional fight. Why is he fighting for the WBA world title? Because he's had a tremendous amount of amateur experience, and he says he's ready for it. And Kempi was willing to go to Kazakhstan. A very disputed decision and all kinds of problems about money and everything else and the WBA said hey let them do it again and that's why we're having this fight and it's a good one I'm glad they're doing it again and I'm glad uh, American fans are getting a chance to see both of these guys they're both very different fighters but um, we can't argue these guys are both talents well Campillo in the red trunks is the reigning WBA championship that's the one that Shumanoff wants so bad he is really loading up shots and now Jay Nady says again to the IBA champ from Kazakhstan, keep your hands up. I think Kevin Barry would like to see more head movement from this guy. He doesn't sit on the ropes when uh, Campillo comes in this time. Now Campillo catches him high on the forehead, dances in close to him. And I think you're right. See, he plants and throws. I like that. Trying to draw him in. Then he, you know, faints to his left and then off to his right. That's, this is a, a little bit of an example of the, the natural fighting ability that Shumanov has. Um, he, he, he can stick and move, but it's 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 not in the textbook way. It's his, it's his own style. He, he moves, he can kind of duck under punches, but when he plants those feet, uh, he, he lands with a, a lot of power. And I think as, you know, when he, when he lets his hands drop just a little bit, he feels more comfortable to let the hands go and, and, and have a little bit of uh, head and upper body movement. But uh, Campillo's coming on very strong mid-round here. Yeah, he is. Uh, there's about a minute, a uh, little over a minute to go here in the fourth round. Shumanov was doing well, and this is the way Campillo comes on at the end of rounds. And he catches him with a good shot. And that head shot might be enough to give him this round because it was heavier than anything that I think Shumanov landed. I agree. That's the way these rounds are going. Seesaw back and forth each minute. Seesaw's back and forth. And here's the final minute that 
Campillo is taking advantage of Schumann. Nice left hook. Actually, that's his uh, power left hand for the southpaw fighter in Campillo. This Campillo is a very good boxer. Yeah, you see, he mixes his punches up very well. That 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 left was uh, to the body and then to the head. And what I like, he's he's watching everything. He never takes his eye off his opponent and his opponent's gloves. He just sees everything coming his way, and he always has an answer. Fighting well off the ropes here. He may have hurt Schumann off with a series of punches there. He caught him with about four flush punches inside. This is a tough fight. We're going to stay right here because anything could happen in the closing seconds of this fourth round. Schumann continues to land on him, but he got rocks in this round. All right, the bell ends the fourth round. That's a Campillo round, no question about it. Absolutely, that's a Campillo round. He finished that round so strong, really controlled the round from the from the middle point of the round to the final bell. So this is getting interesting in my scorecard. I've got a 38 uh, for Shumanov, 39 for Campillo, and you've got a dead even, I believe, on your score sheet. So hey, we expect that the judges would have it something around there. We'll listen here. Stitch Duran keeping the ice uh, and swell on that left eye. Kevin Barry giving instructions. You're wasting too much energy moving around. The fourth round was Campillo's round, and we're going to see why. He's making Schumanoff miss, and he's making him pay. He's also pressing the action in spots during the round. Here he is backing Schumanoff up. Landing uh, his, his southpaw jab and, and, and straight lefts. And he fought very well off the ropes, as we're seeing here. Mixing his punches to the body and the head. This is round five. The Colonel Bob Sherman here with Doug Fisher. We're at the joint. That's the name of the venue here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. His uh, Shumanoff does what he does in the start of most rounds. He starts out fast and then has, a, at least in the last round, a tendency to wilt. Kevin Barry, uh, I heard him say in between rounds, you, you wasted a lot of energy, but he's landed some shots here. The problem that I see, Doug, is he's not shifting this guy when he lands the power shots. Campillo does a great job rolling with the shots. You know, and, and because Campillo is, is, is so good rolling with punches or, or blocking punches, and because he has the kind of temperament where he doesn't get rattled, I think it would behoove Shumanoff not to load up so much because that way he wouldn't be tuckered out by the end of the round and he could be more active towards the end of the round. But he fights like, like a demon, like a guy that's possessed. And that, that's, that's his nature. He wants it so bad. And, and this guy he's fighting is a very good fighter. As I say that, Shumanov loads up three shots and we've got a whole rooting and cheering section here next to us from Kazakhstan. They go nuts. The Kazakh fans see blood dripping from the left eye of Campillo and that I think that might have come from a punch I saw a looping right hand land to Campillo's eye socket and now we're seeing blood and it looks like it is uh, above the and in the left eyelid of Campillo we'll check it in between rounds to see how bad it is but it's uh, certainly ignited Shumarov as I say that Campillo blasts him with a right hand Remember, the right hand is his hook and his jab for the southpaw fighter, but it's landed on that eye. Really, Shumanov blocks, and then he uses both hands. He throws on his backhand as it keeps him from coming in on him. Shumanov continues to back off as Campillo puts the pressure on him. This kid is tough, and what a fight we've got for you. We have got a hell of a contest here, and I love the fact that Campillo took some hard shots in the first minute. His, his left eye is gushing blood, and he's coming on like a monster. Well, it's similar to the last couple of rounds where Shumanov has won the first couple of minutes and they, this guy's stealing rounds from him because in the final minute, it's been Campillo coming on. and It's sort of similar in this round, but Shumanov not taking any punishment right now, but he better land some shots and make sure he wins this round. I think the round is up for grabs. 15 seconds to go in this round. I think it's a good round for Shumanov as Campillo tries to come on and steal the round from him. Shumanov bounces left, bounces right. Here comes the bell to end the fifth round of the fight, and it's a dandy. In what was the most significant punch of the fight, that right cross caused a very bad cut over the left eye of Gabriel Campillo. 
All right, here we go to round six of the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, Nevada. WBA champ Gabriel Campillo in the red trunks with that cut in the last round. I gave that fifth round, by the way, to Shumanov. As did I. I think that, uh, you know, obviously he landed the, the, the telling blows in, in the first minute of that round. The most telling, the one that produced that nasty cut over the Spaniard's left eye. And uh, although Campillo came on very hard towards the end of the round, Shumanov had his moments in the final minute. This Campillo is an amazingly cool character. I'll tell you, that cut uh, continues to drop blood. And now Shumanov, who's dying to get a right hand on top of that eye again, he likes to go downstairs. There he goes with the straight right. He, you know, he pushes that right hand out a little bit. Not that time he let it fly. Trying to draw him in to land the right hand upstairs again. Shumanov sometimes, I think he hesitates a little bit too much when Campillo's coming to him. I agree. I agree. And, you know, sometimes when he's backing off, we're, we're seeing some, some head movement, a little bit of upper body movement from Shumanov, but Campillo throws so many punches, he still catches Shumanov. And again, you know, you brought up a thing, a question early in the fight. Can this guy continue to throw these haymakers and bombs without fatigue eventually catching up? We're in the middle rounds right now of the scheduled 12 rounder. Shumanov's legs still seen there, but they're not anywhere near as fresh as they were in the first couple of rounds. So he's going to have to get a second win. Look at Campillo continues to throw. Catches Shumanov. Campillo's doing a nice job boxing. Yeah, that's what he does. He stays cool, calm, collected. He can box you from a distance. He can out hustle you in the pocket. And uh, everything he punches is uh, textbook. Uh, Shumanov land, you know, throwing harder punches, not always landing. But you have to wonder, can a guy load up with every single punch kernel and not tire himself out by the middle rounds of a fight? Well, that's kind of what happened in their fight in Kazakhstan, where Campillo really came on in the last round. But let's see what happens here now. Shumanov is better conditioned for this fight. He's taken some shots. You got to plant now and throw, and don't let this round get away from him with 25 seconds to go in the round. Both fighters are in tremendous physical condition. However, mentally, I think Campillo is better suited for fighting the distance because he's used to going the distance. The guy only has six knockouts. Shumanov, to me, with the closing seconds of the sixth round, seems like he might be a little fatigued. Here comes the belt. All right, here we go with round number seven at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, Nevada. A terrific WBA and IBA light heavyweight championship fight. Campillo versus Shumanov. Shumanov at the end of the last round looked to me like he was wilting just a little bit. But again, Doug Fisher, he starts out this round like he always does. Very, very strong. It's going to be difficult for the judges to see whether the first minute and a half or two minutes for Shumanov is enough to give him these rounds. I gave Campillo the last round, and I got him slightly out in front in this fight. I gave Campillo the sixth round as well. Um, I, I thought that uh, Shumanov slowed down significantly in the sixth round from previous rounds. And uh, Cam Campillo is a busy fighter. He throws punches and he's pretty accurate. He was landing a lot of shots. He, he's totally under control. He's, he's, he's a terrific boxer. Shumanov looks a little bit wild right now. His legs look a little fatigued to me. He looks a little heavy in the heels. He's got to get that second win from all the hard training he's done. And this guy is one determined athlete. He's a tremendous athlete. Nobody wants it more than him. But Campillo didn't come from Spain to Las Vegas, Nevada for his first trip to lose this title fight. And he's filled with confidence right now. This is, this is Campillo's American debut. This is his first time uh, fighting in front of a, a wide American television audience. He wants to make a statement. And um, what he's showing us, uh, particularly in this round and in the previous round, is that he would be a handful for any light heavyweight in the world. And he's really coming on right now and making Shumanov look kind of bad at this stage. This is probably the best sustained uh, that Campillo has really looked. When you talk about the light heavyweights, Chad Dawson, Bernard Hopkins, Glenn Johnson still in there, Tarver, John Pascal from Haiti. You know, you mentioned a lot of fighters who were uh, getting long in the tooth. Bernard Hopkins turned 45 this month. 
Roy Jones Jr. is, is 41 years old. Antonio Tarver and, and Glenn Johnson are 40 or 41. Um, Chad Dawson is uh, sort of leading the new guard along with Jean Pascal. And I would imagine the winner of this bout would be considered one of the, the new faces in the light heavyweight division. So there's a lot to, uh, at stake in, in this fight, a lot to fight for for both of these guys. Now this seventh round, the WBA champ Campillo is giving Shumanov a boxing lesson right now, and this is not good for him. Not good for Shumanov, it's great for Campillo. This guy is so determined, Doug. Just when you want to count him out in the round, he comes back and does something good. But this is definitely Campillo's round. Absolutely. Shumanov, you know, he has the heart of a lion. But uh, I think so far what he's shown us is he's a tremendous athlete. Campillo is a tremendous boxer. Closing seconds of the seventh round. This is round eight from Las Vegas. Gabriel Campillo, in my uh, way of thinking, has won three of the last four rounds. The only uh, one of the last four rounds he hasn't won was at the fifth round where he was cut in the eyebrow by that really heavy shot by Beboot. Uh, Beboot has got to get a second win here. He's going to have a lot of trouble closing out with this champ who can go the full 12 rounds. Campillo is used to going the distance, and he's used to coming on strong over the second half of the championship bout, and he's used to throwing a lot of punches, which is bad news for Shumanov. Uh, here he comes. He landed some good shots, and Shumanov has to back off. And a couple of rounds ago, I began to see the legs of, of Shumanov just wilt just a, just a hair, and boy, he doesn't look good right now. This guy Campillo putting a lot of pressure on him. Shumanov plants. Shumanov trying to land the power shots as Jane 80 cautions the two fighters about their heads coming together. By the way, the cut that was in the eyebrow of uh, Campillo back in the fifth round, uh, Ricardo uh, Tocho, who does uh, not only trains Campillo but does his cuts, has done a great job keeping that under control throughout this fight. And Jacob Duran works the corner of Shumanov. He's a great cut man too, but Shumanov is not cut. But they both have terrific corner men. Shumanov backing off, tries to plan. He just can't land a flush punch with this guy. I don't know why. Doug, can, can you figure out something I can't? Why this guy is so hard to catch the flush punch? You know, he's uh, he, he, he rolls with punches subtly. He just has sort of subtle head mo movement to let it kind of go by. But I think part of his, his, his defensive prowess is his offensive prowess. He, he's always letting his hands go. He will punch when the other guy punches. And he can, he can defend while he's letting those hands go. So it's, it, it, I think it's hard for his opponents to really line him up for accurate shots. They kind of have to punch around his incoming punches. Well, uh, Beboot right now has got to get some sort of second win this guy is really outboxing him. Time has been called as a mouthpiece comes out from the corner. Sometimes that signals fatigue too when a guy starts dropping his mouthpiece. You have to wonder. The crowd applauding. They like what they see. Two terrific fighters. They boot Shumanov from Kazakhstan wants it so bad. You can see all the things that he's learned from his new trainer. And now you got the question, you know, in his 10th professional fight, has he bitten off more than he can chew too early? Well, it's looking like that in this round. It's looking like um, he's uh, he's been dragged into the deep end of a pool and he's uh, not used to swimming in deep water. Well, Shumanov won the first round, and Campillo the second, and then Shumanov the third, and Campillo the fourth, and Shumanov the fifth. In the last couple of rounds, it's been Campillo, and this is certainly a Campillo round as well. Here comes the bell to end the eighth round. Stop. Two tremendously conditioned athletes fighting for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Campillo has won the last three rounds unofficially on my score sheet. The official judges, Patricia Morse German of Nevada, Levi Martinez of New Mexico, and Jerry Roth of Nevada. But Babe Boot Shumanov looked like he started to wilt in the in the tail end of the fifth round, and then G. Campillo has just been excellently boxing through six, seven, and eight. Jay says, watch the head. Jay Navy, the referee, one of the very best. The hard shot. Kevin Barry told him in between rounds, Doug, uh, Shumanoff, that is, to 
not throw so many hard shots. Just make sure you land and you're more accurate with the ones you do throw. But this isn't working for him either. This guy is a little fatigued right now. Yeah, I think that was good advice from Kevin Barry, but I think it was advice maybe Shumanoff needed in the second or third round because he was so tight early and loading up with so many power punches that um, there, there is, his gas tank is not empty, but it's it's getting there is what it looks like. Although maybe, he, you know, he can get uh, he can grab a second win from somewhere. We know that he's in tremendous condition. We know he's put the work in. He certainly has put the work in, but he's not landing flush punches. And as you see, Capillo continues to land flush punches. He's going to catch him with a shot to turn this thing around. And, you know, he, he still has the power in his shots. He's got to bend at the knees, try to work the body. But look at this, just great stuff by Campillo. Really nice stuff by Campillo. In fact, it's hard to see how Shumanov can stand up against this assault. Shumanov looks to the referee for help and the heads came together. He might have been saying that, that he got hit with an elbow, but uh, most of the punches he's getting hit with are from the gloves of Campillo. And you just got to love the way Campillo is so relaxed. I mean, he's letting power shots go, but he doesn't exert any energy. He's getting leverage on the shots. And what's really starting to wear Shumanov down is the sheer volume and placement uh, of these punches. Oh, uh, yeah, so right. I mean, Shumanov just now, you see, he wants it bad, but he's got a bloody nose. He's getting hit in the face. He's really getting pounded. I'll tell you, if he doesn't start throwing some punches and he continues to take shots without landing shots, there's a chance that the fight could be stopped because he doesn't look good right now. Is he cutting the eye as well? It's hard to tell. There's a, a lot of blood in his face, right? Though. The blood's coming from the nose. His knees are very loose and his heels are very heavy. And Campillo has really beat him up in this ninth round with about 25 seconds to go. And Campillo continues to do it. Shumanov is in a heap of trouble right now. Campillo senses it and he's, he's uh, putting his foot on the gas pedal. He said he would knock him out and he's trying to do just that. This is developed into a real tough war for Bebut Shumanov. Look at the courage he has to battle to the bell here in the ninth round. There's the ninth round. You know, that's that that if you use the 10 point must could be a 10 8 round without a knockdown. The judges won't do that. Yeah, Shumanov didn't get a whole lot done in that round. Aside from getting punched in the face a lot. Well, he's got three rounds of trying to try and suck it up. And if he doesn't hurt Campillo, Campillo has actually got enough points in the bank right now to win this in my score sheet. Yeah. Mine as well. He did. He did. I saw it. I was really close. Colonel, the ninth round was probably Campillo's best round, and, and we're going to see why here. Straight left lands, right hook, right jab, right, right hook again. Right jab. Oh, what a beautiful right uppercut. And he, he's putting these punches together just beautifully. Uh, on either side, up the middle. And he's nonstop. All right, back to live action. What can Beboot do to turn this thing around, if anything? Campillo is such a slick boxer. He hasn't been hurt at all in this fight. you got to go way back to the first round and then to the fifth round for the good rounds of Shumanov. Shumanov starts out fast again, but he can't shift this guy no matter what he does. Jay Nady says once again, watch the head to Beboot Shumanov. Shumanov loads up the right hand, but he Every time he throws it, the guy partially blocks it, and it's very frustrating for Shumanov. Shumanov looks like he's got a second win, but this guy is such a slick defensive fighter and counterpuncher that when Beboot looks like he's doing things, he'll just coast through the first half of the round, and then all of a sudden, Campillo opens up again. <laughs> and he, he keeps that nice, calm expression on his face, so if Shumanov is hurting him, Campillo's not letting Shumanov or the judges know it, and that has to be very discouraging for Shumanov. Well, Shumanov in the black trunks has is, is won the first minute of this round, but where Campillo picks up is at about 1.30. Absolutely. He comes on in the middle of the round and just starts putting punches together. And, and, and it's happening again, only it's happening a little bit sooner here at the 140 mark. And there's the IBA champ in the black trunks. He wants it so bad. You can just... You know, see it in his eyes and the way he's fighting. But Campillo is such a slick, tough boxer. This guy is something else. 
Well, Shumanov is kind of made to order in some ways, particularly late in the fight when he's when he's fatigued for Campillo. Because he has so much desire, I mean, he grunts and he lets, he basically telegraphs every shot that he lunges Campillo's way. I mean, Shumanov caught him with a good right hand and a nice uppercut there, and it doesn't shift Campillo at all. Campillo, you know, he could take a shot, which would, you know, he already is a WBA champ, but he's certainly, you got to consider him amongst the best against a kid who's, uh, you know, eight and one. Tenth professional fight. And you ask the question again, did he bite off too much too soon? Because Campillo is doing what he does so well from the 130, 140 mark. He starts coming on and he's boxing better now than in Shumanov. Although Shumanov, to me, is still winning this round. You know, he's putting the effort in, and, and I think uh, Campillo is finally taking a round off. He's thrown so much leather in round six, seven, eight, and nine. I, I think he's going to coast a little bit. Uh, with these late rounds, you know, of course, he has the boxing ability. He has the speed and accuracy where he could just sort of pot shot Schumann off from the outside and kind of play it safe. The size of a difference in hand speed shown by Campillo as well. All right, the closing seconds now of the 10th round, a decent round for Schumann All right, here we go. Can Babu Schumann do it? Doug, I didn't ask you in between rounds. How'd you score that last round? I gave the 10th round to Bibo Shumanov. Uh, I, I gave him an A for effort. Yeah, just such heart and desire. And, and basically, I, I think Campillo took the round off a little bit and, and, and allowed Shumanov to, to out-hustle him. Even though Campillo looked good in the last minute of the round, I think Shumanov did enough, and I gave him that way. But he's still, uh, you know, I've got him three points behind with just these two rounds to go. Here he goes, winning the first 30 seconds, and he'll win the first minute. But he can't shift the guy. And Campillo is so patient and does such a nice job counterpunching and not allowing himself to get hurt. Campillo just doesn't get discouraged. No, he doesn't. What a terrific fight this is. Look at Campillo. You talk about not getting discouraged of the determination of Babu Shumana. He's some kind of tough character from Kazakhstan. He got whacked with that, but he was rolling with that punch, and it, it looked a lot better than it was. I want to thank our statisticians who helped us this week. Uh, Tammy Cotel, Fred Sternberg, and his staff, and Bobby Schrager. Appreciate all your help. Babu Shumanov in the black trunks has got himself a handful of work to do in the last minute and 45 seconds of this 11th round. If Campillo can close out this 11th round, Shumanov would need to knock him out to win the fight. That's unofficially, of course. I like what I, I'm seeing from both guys, um, particularly Shumanoff, because I know he's tired. I know he's not used to fighting into the 11th and 12th rounds, and he's just giving it everything he's got. Well, this is where the conditioning is is paying dividends right now. Even though uh, Campi was starting to turn the 11th round like he always does in the last minute of the last few rounds anyway. But this guy has been a patient fighter, a terrific counterpuncher, and offensively his hand speed has been significant over Shumanoff. Shumanov has set down on his punches, but he's never been able to tag this guy and even sting him once during the course of the fight. Landed shots like that consistently, but this guy just rolls his head, slips the punches, moves, and I think Shumanov is going to do a little bit more movement of his head, too, because there's his head right there. Look at this. That was a nice, clean right hook from Campillo. And now because of that, that series, even though Shumanov is working so hard, it's going to be hard to give Shumanov this round with 36 seconds to go. If Campillo can have one more flurry, Shumanov, I think, has done more in this round. But this is a very close round and a hard round to score. You see, these, these looping shots like that stand out in the judge's eyes. Campillo's punches are more accurate. And that's the difference. Much more. Shumanov punches, uh, they carry a, 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 a lot of force on them, but he just can't land clean. Can't land clean on Campillo. Closing seconds of the 11th round in a war. Campillo is showing why he is uh, should be considered one of the best light heavyweights in the world. He just lets his hands go, and they are accurate hands. Well, Shumanov has got to knock him out to win the fight, according to my score sheet. And he's going to try and do exactly that. He hasn't been able to shift this guy. And Campillo is a slick defensive fighter. He hasn't been stung once in this fight with all the hard blows that Shumanov has thrown during the course of the fight. 
Babe Boot has, has worked so hard and so really viciously and determined in, in the first minute, minute and a half of each round, and then Campillo has gradually taken, especially the latter portion of the fight, taking it away from him. As the chant goes up for Babe Boot, Babe Boot. Babe Boot trying to finish strong here. He's got to knock him down at least to really be in this fight, I think. Nice clean punches being landed by Campillo right now. Even though Shumanoff is, is, is working hard as he does for most of these rounds, particularly late in the fight, and I give him credit, but while Shumanoff works hard, I would say Campillo works a lot smarter. Uh, Babe Boot wants it so bad. With a minute and 33 to go, Campillo is such a cool customer. What a terrific boxer he has shown tonight. Now hard shots and Babe Boot paying the price. You take a look at the faces of the two fighters, in spite of the fact that uh, Campillo was cut back in the fifth round, Shumanov was cut around the ninth round, but not, not as bad as his cut, but you take a look at the face of the two fighters and you can tell who the victor is going to be here tonight. Shumanov has a minute to go to try and lift this title, and Campillo saying, no, you're not going to take it from me, my friend. You know, I, I would say Shumanov still has a very bright future in boxing and, and in the light heavyweight division, but I, I think he picked on the wrong title holder in Gabriel Campillo, and I, I, I tell you what, Campillo has everything but that knockout punch. Well, uh, Babu continue to work with Kevin Barry, and he continues to develop because there's been a great deal of improvement, I think, from this fight, from his last fight, where he also lost, but this time is more convincing by Campillo, but Shumanov looks to be a better fighter. Campillo certainly determined as well. 28 seconds to go in the fight. I want to thank our producers, Jason Bido, and uh, our coordinating producer, uh, Luis Story. We appreciate your help. Tech manager, Anthony Miller. They're going to let it all hang out, Colonel. Closing seconds. Here we go. It's been a terrific fight. They battle right to the bell. It'll go to the score sheets. Whoa. A terrific light heavyweight championship fight. Let's go to our ring announcer with all the particulars. There he is, Johnny Vina. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read the official scorecards, have a nice round of applause for these two world champions. They just put up a great fight of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, judge at ringside, Levi Martinez scores about 117, 111. He has it for Campillo. Judge Jerry Roth scores it 115 to 113 for Shumanov. Well, Judge Patricia Morse Jarman scores the bout 117, 111 for your winner by split decision. And now the IBA and WBA light heavyweight champion, Beboot Shumanov. Wow. Well, that's a surprising decision. Campillo's going to be uh, be really surprised. And Babu Shumanov is thrilled. Unbelievable. Final uh, comment. I guess there's going to be a rubber match, but uh, I, I thought that uh, Campillo won the fight eight rounds before, 116 to 112. I thought the Spaniard proved that he was the better fighter. All right, for Belmonte Productions and everybody involved with the promotion, I'm the Colonel Bob Short of the Doug Fisher saying good night, everybody.